Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough fighting club! What are we gonna use against it? Well, how about my fireweed deck? And, well, I made a few changes to it. While there are grass Pokémon and there are fire, well... No fire, yeah! <laughs> I thought because of the difficulties that I had getting the right energy types, because they required a lot of specific energy, I didn't think it worked that well together, and thus it was probably one of the weakest decks that I had out there, so I was like, eh, you know what? You know what, I'm gonna try a mono grass deck, because I kind of did not really make one of these before, and I was like, okay, let's show you how these things can run here. And I kind of really streamlined the trainer cards as well, as you can see here. Um, but I got this version of Fearow to kind of mix things up here. May do 20 additional damage, so that's 30 for 2 potentially, and the Drill Dive. You do the 50 for 3 potentially. Just so I would mix things up, as I said. So, <laughs> kind of unreliable in some ways, but we'll see. I mean, it is fighting resistant, which I may need. I've also got this version of Spiro here, or just can pack for 10. 50 HP, but it's also got the mirror move to potentially, possibly do a lot of damage depending on what the opponent attacked with, so it could be a nice counter to things. And the Spearow, because it's a nice Spearow in general. And this is the Scyther, fighting resistance, plus all those nice moves. Yeah, you know, you know these dealios. I've also got this Met Venomoth that kind of kind of mix things up here in this regard, because I got a double sort of status effect with that, which could be quite useful, even though if it's, you know, you know even if it's at low HP and whatnot, it's also got fighting resistance. <laughs> uh, there's also the usual Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur. I don't have two Venusaurs, so I just gotta kind of deal with that. I'm also going with this Venonat for the stalling properties of the Stun Spore, and I may also have use out of the Leash Life as well for its stalling properties. And Recycle Energy, because I got, you know, the bunch of colorless and colorless attacks and stuff like that, along with double colorless, plus the Scyther and everything like that, so I thought, okay, let's see what I can do with this. It's got a multitude of weaknesses and resistances for the grass deck, and versus all these guys, yeah, all of them have decks we have not seen before, including the guy we beat before, you. Mitch has returned. Did you help him out? Well... I guess it's expected from someone who beat the Grandmasters. No. Ah, uh, it's so much fun fighting with you. It's no fun having to wait so long to find a challenging opponent. Wait no longer! I just wanted to see your dialogue. I'd love to have a battle anytime you like, Mint. If you win, you can have this booster pack. It's a Lost Isle pack. Yes, here I come! So he's actually telling us what the booster pack is going to give us. New Macho deck! Bring it on! So yeah, the, uh... Uh, even though we have some fighting resistance in the deck, it's not going to be like a deciding factor for the most part because they do have other kinds of critters in the deck as well. So it's going to be a back and forth dealio depending on the setup and whatnot. We'll, we'll see how things go. Like, see, there's a colorless right there. So even if I put out something fighting resistant, wow! Whoa, 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 double colorless surprise. <laughs> Well, I was not expecting that. Yeah, that Meowth requires two energy, and I was thinking, ah, it probably won't be able to attack. No, it can most certainly attack. Um, I... Um, well... Well... I hate to kind of do it this early, but... I kind of need to use my energy properly, so to speak. So let's go ahead and peck away. There we go. And perhaps, maybe, if need be, we will mirror move. Who knows? For the moment, we'll just kind of nick away at 10 damage aside. And if I get a uh, Fero, it'll be well equipped to do the attacking. And I really don't want to use the, <laughs> the plus power. <laughs> well, I should say if I get more energy, it'll be well equipped for the attacking. But yeah, I don't want to use the plus power unless I really have to. Just kind of a... Yeah, oh man, <laughs> it's bound to get heads eventually in there somewhere. Ooh, there's a Scyther! Oh. And continue the pecking. Uh, even if I use Mirror Move, it would still be, <laughs> still be 10 damage against the Meowth. Uh, but I'm technically one turn ahead, even though the Meowth had the first attack on uh, Bulbasaur, so I will be able to knock out the uh, Meowth before it'll be able to knock out me, unless it does some sort of... Fancy full of maneuver. Ooh, um. <laughs> hmm. 
wonder if I should gust the wind to stall. <laughs> well, I'll think about it, because Meowth still can't knock out the Spearow as of right now, so... Eh, it should be fine. Oh, and there's Ghastly, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's another way to uh, kind of mess with our grassiness. Uh, anything that has fighting resistance, because yeah... <laughs> And uh, not getting the draw this time. Uh, you know, come to think of it, these are all fighting, so... I might still be okay with the Spearow, just in general. Uh, let's go for Scyther. And Peck. But yeah, the, that, pr that Primate may be an issue, because it's... But then it'll confuse itself. <laughs> Unless it's gonna go for the Fury Swipes, but... Oh, yeah, see, yeah, I went for the tantrum. Uh, yeah, well, okay, it didn't confuse itself, but... <laughs> That'll do 20 damage, you know, resistance and all like that, so... Got sort of lucky there. And Scyther is... out. Mm hmm. Well, Swords Dance. <laughs> Just a little bit low on energy. Might not be an issue depending on the, the tantrum. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> yeah, see, 20 damage per attack, even with the powerful tantrum there. And swords dance. So even if I get the uh, uh, last energy, Scyther is probably gonna take a good amount more damage before confusion happens. Yeah. <laughs> so it's at yeah, it's at. 30 HP, I was, I, was gonna, I was gonna say 40 HP, but it's 40 damage that Scyther took, and Slash is doubled now, so voila! And I'm just gonna use regular Slash on the next turn. We'll see what he can do with that Primeape, he just might end up knocking himself out with the Tantrum. Oh, no! Nope. Oh, man! <laughs> so Scyther takes a little bit more damage, but not before it'll be able to knock out that Primeape. And it might be res resistant enough to everyone else that's out there, except maybe the Ghastly. <laughs> uh, that's probably what he's going to end up doing next. So I wonder if I should switch it out to something and wipe out the Ghastly really quick with the Scyther with the plus power. Mm! Act Ooh, actually, Gust of Wind to Ghastly. Yeah, yeah, I, I know he'll knock it out with uh, Primeape on the next turn, probably. But what I'll do here is take on the Ghastly full force and then finish off whatever he puts out, probably. <laughs> Which will be, probably be the Prime Ape, yeah, and with whatever. Like, he, he probably won't put out Machop. If he does, I'll be in good... S yeah, uh, that's what I, I was going to say. If he puts out Machop, I'm in good shape, but he's probably going to do the Prime Ape just to finish off, because he'll be able to freely tantrum since I did that Gust of Wind. But I wanted to get rid of the Ghastly because of its uh, status effects, and then yeah, so... It's all right. No, no need to panic or anything. We've got a sore, Bulbasaur, to be precise, and a gnat, a Venom gnat, to be precise. Oh, huh? wonder if I should go do that and skip the Venusaur, but instead just go Professor Oak, <laughs> because what I can do is get the uh, ener the energy that I need here, and as expected, I'll just be able to attack thusly, all nice and pretty like. Um, I probably should defend her on that because it's probably going to take 20 damage from something that he's got out on the field. And the prize card goes to Mia. Um, ooh, uh oh, that could be a problem. <laughs> well, we'll see. Uh, yeah, he's doing Focus Blast, so he's probably going to choose something else. Other than oh well, never mind. <laughs> well, that, that didn't quite work, but yeah, the uh, uh, focus blast here. You, you got to get a heads in order to do twenty to something, which is probably the wiser move because if you would have went for the uh, agonizing thrust, it would only cause paralysis possibly. But if he's aiming for damage, you know, you could have went for any of these and just knocked them out in two turns potentially. Uh, hmm, I'm thinking of vine whipping. Probably should. Yeah, that's fine, Whip. And there we go. I know, uh, Alibisaur is gonna take some- Oh! Maybe not. I was gonna say take some damage from Machop, but... I guess it's gonna be from Machop instead. 
He must be feeling threatened because I've got one prize card left. So it's like, oh, oh, ooh, Scyther. Very nice. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Leech Seed or Vine? Probably Leech Seed, actually. Because if he decides to switch something in that has higher HP, I'll have more HP to cover that. And then whatever he does, I'll just kind of Vine Whip that. <laughs> uh, he did a peek. What did he find out? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't much matter. Um, yeah, let's go for the Scyther again. I could probably be better... I mean, I would probably be better off switching to the Scyther, but... Eh, fine, but for now. <laughs> if he knocks out Ivysaur, I'll just switch in the Scyther and... Yeah, but actually, um... I, yeah, that's right, I have... <laughs> that's on the last prize card, I'm an idiot. I win! <laughs> ah, I lost. You're too strong, Mint. Uh, yeah, I was late thinking many turns ahead and... There's only one turn left. Ooh, pincer. It's a lot of... A lot of the yeah, paralysis is what you would go for with the iron grip there. I could potentially plop it in this deck because of that, but the guillotine's a little bit, a little bit pricey. <laughs> so I don't know if you want to use that. It's probably built for double colorless energy because of that. But wouldn't you be better off using the double colorless on something else? I don't know. I just, just saying. But that yeah, paralysis effect isn't that bad though. And. Let's see what we get. What do we get? Nothing new, that's what. I had fun sparring with you. Look forward to our future bouts. Next up, Chris, thanks to your efforts, Mitch has returned safely. Come on and do some victory training with me, Mint. You know, I, uh, now I wonder, if everyone's talking about Mitch, I wonder if people are wondering where Mitch was or something like that back over here at certain points. You know, like they had, they had different dialogue. Man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. Come on, do some victory training with me, Mint. No. I see I don't want to force you to fight if you don't want to. Hey, Mint, how you feeling? Oh, <laughs> that's my strength. Would you mind fighting with me? If you beat me, I'll give you these two booster packs as a gift. But what kind? Let's find out. I've changed my mind. Four prize cards, then. These two booster packs are on the line. Even though I'm not giving you any booster packs as a bet. Chivalry Adventure deck. Let's go. It sounds... Potentially fighty! Okay, it's definitely fighty. <laughs> um, I probably should plop out that Spearow first and save the Scyther. Yeah, I'm thinking, because I got those two energy cards, so I don't know if I'll get the energy quick enough for the Scyther, but at the very least I can attack with the Spearow right now. I probably will, because I got Bill. But, yep, there it is. <laughs> Just, just one of those sorts of situations where it's like, eh, just to be sure, you know? <laughs> Alright, what you got? You've got a fighting energy. You've got a sand attack, which could potentially stop me from doing damage. Possibly, but it's not going to do damage to me, so I'm going to eventually get through. Um, Yeah, I guess I'll just go for the peck right now, because I I'm not really that concerned with this current setup, since I got fighting resistance with the powers of the Spearow. I mean, yeah, the evolution may do a little bit of damage, as you see, which I wasn't expecting, but nope, that's not going to do anything. It's 20 damage times the number of heads, zero, because of resistance, so he's got to get two heads to do 10 damage. Um, I guess if he's going to take that long to put something in that'll threaten Spearow, I probably should actually wing attack away. Eh, we'll see if we really even need the Scyther. Perhaps I can get away with the Spearow the whole way because of fighting resistance depend depending on what he draws. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Because um, yeah, the Sand Slash just relying on coin, coin flips. The Rhyhorn not really going to get through. Uh, should I... Especially double colorless. And wing attack. There we go. Uh, maybe it was better off with the sand shoe, actually, in, in some ways, because, you know, you could prevent me from attacking in general. But, eh, maybe not. I don't know. He might be just going for as much damage as possible. Oh, 10 damage to Spearow. That's all. 
Yeah, Spiro is going to be kind of difficult to take down because of the coin flips. Venonaut? Uh, sure, I'll go for the Venonoth. <clears throat> and the Wing Attack, of course, just spam the Wing Attack. I'm also expecting a Fearow eventually, somewhere along the line, probably, so... It's nice to have the two energy cards attached to it ahead of time. And... Well, ten more. <laughs> That's okay, we're still good, because that Rhyhorn cannot get through our impenetrable resistances, kinda. I... <laughs> there we go. That's a knockout. After 10 years, we got a knockout, and he's, he's gonna get some bench Pokemon eventually. Uh, well, cannot, uh, cannot even prevent my attacks, at least for now. Ooh, Professor Oak. Uh, probably should... Oh yeah, that's right, I did have the fear roll. I'm an idiot, I'm, I'm a total idiot today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I could have been... I could have been... <laughs> Fine! <laughs> oh god. I swear. <laughs> some days. Some days. I'm like the biggest amateur in the world. Uh, yeah, quick attack. I was thinking if I should defend her, but probably not as of right now. I don't think he's gonna evolve into Rhyhorn, otherwise, he would have done so already. I mean, Ry evolve the Rhyhorn into Rhydon, I should say. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe, but I'll save it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just trying to knock it into drill dive range, basically. Uh, yeah, Firo, kind of unreliable, like the Sand Shoe in its own way, but I thought I would just kind of mix things up with it. Because I figured it had the opportunity, due to the fighting resistance, to kind of possibly hit at the maximum... Anyway, that leader is not going to help. I <laughs> uh, could... Could switch to Scyther and... Could. <laughs> it's double damage. Uh, no plus power, though. I just kind of... Do a slash. And you'd be like, oh, no. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I actually think he had a bad shuffle or something like that. Because it's not really a... Yeah, he's not really in very good position in general here. So, I think I'm gonna end up just redoing the battle, giving him another chance, and, yeah, <laughs> just put him out of his misery, and perhaps mine as well, because I, I'm playing awful, <laughs> not paying attention to things for some reason. Uh, I have failed. Legends boost the pack! So we get two of these bad boys, energy removal, energy removal! <laughs> I don't know if I will get, so there, there's a Rhydon who could have... He could use that, probably. But too late. Too late. And, oh, Premier Booster Pack, so we don't get two Legends. We get Legend and a Premier. Um, Bill's nice. Okay. I seem to have lacked proper discipline. Alright, I'm going to try harder. Let's do it again! <laughs> Alright. Yep, yep. Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was kind of a stall fest at the beginning in a way, but it's a, that wasn't really like it, it was not a good example of either deck. Let's put it that way. Um, I don't, I don't know which one I want. Probably the Venonat because of the possibility of paralysis, assuming I get an energy card. <laughs> I mean, I somehow got zero energy on my first turn, but. We'll see if that changes. And... Sandy Sandy... Will it work, though? That is the question, Bulbasaur. That is not an energy card. But I will plop it on the bench. Defend their grass energy! Happy days! Does it work? Oh. <laughs> it didn't matter! It failed me! I could do a switch. Uh, you know, I... But that would kind of burn the energy. And I'd still need the energy on the other Pokémon anyway, but if I had a switch card card... You know, I could've did that! <laughs> that, would've, that would've been pretty nice, but... Alas... Alas... There is no switch. See, I am paying attention slightly. Anyway... <laughs> um... I don't know if I want to attach the double colorless energy to, to anything I have. 
Maybe for the leech life? I, may? I guess? I, but I kind of want to go for the... Oh, I was going to say, I kind of want to go for the paralysis more than anything. And I guess I'll be uh, going for Defender just to be sure that Venonat... Venonat... Venonat will be surviving the turn. Recycle energy. Yeah, Defender. Pop that on there. Yeah, the Venomoth that I have is, uh... It requires a lot of grass. And I only... <laughs> yeah. That's all I like. I can't really evolve it. <laughs> I can only try and go for... Oh, finally, heads. I can only try and go for some energy back to the Venonat. Well, I should say damage counters back to the Venonat. I use the term energy for HP, which I should not do. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you knew what I meant. Alright, so yeah, he's going for the sand attack, of course, as I would as well, to kind of try and prevent the Venonat from doing anything. Uh, uh, <laughs> just got severe lack of energy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Guess I'll put that on there in general. Uh, yeah, it'll come back to my hand if it gets knocked out, I suppose. Come on, heads, come on, heads, come on, help. Because <laughs> I was gonna be like, gonna heal up the remainder of the HP, but no. No. The game decided against it. Uh, so yeah, um, as you can see with grass Pokemon, you want to have a variety of resistances for whatever the poop you have possibly, like, that you could face, basically, that's what I've got here, and then you just kind of play with whatever the poop you decide to, and I'm just going to use that for the heck of it, just to see what we get out of it. <laughs> so yeah, as you see, you can you can attack just fine with uh, grass Pokemon that don't have fighting resistance in this case, but you would be better off with something that has fighting resistance, which a bunch of grass Pokemon tend to have, like said Scyther or the Venonoth or, or whatnot, so yeah. Just play to your strengths of what you got, basically. And I'm gonna go Ivysaur. Uh, I don't want to, I really don't want to drop the Feral, but I have Professor Oak, so, and you know, those are both of my Feral. <laughs> well, well. The lack of energy, <laughs> just in general. Ooh, sight there is nice. That's a nice Firo substitute. Maybe I'll keep the Spiro in case of Pokemon Trader. Venusaur there is uh, probably game over. Uh, yeah, I'll go for the Rainbow Powder again because I don't want to do any switchy swappies. I just kind of want to do status effects. And regardless of whether I get heads or tails, I will get a status effect. So tails is poison, heads is paralysis. It's a win-win with Venomoth. <laughs> He's probably gonna switch. Uh, really? Why? <laughs> I'm not sure I understand this move. Do you want to put out the something and evolve it later, like you know the Machop into Machoke? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just go for the Rainbow Powder. It doesn't matter if I even attack, actually, because I'll be... Actually, wait, wait, couldn't I... I could... No, I... could I have chosen the Pokémon that... If I used the other attack, could I have chosen the Pokémon for him to put out? I, would... I didn't really think much of that. I don't think you can. I thought it was the opponent gets to choose. I'm gonna see, Tornado Gust. Yeah, he or she choose... Yeah, so it didn't matter if I used that or not. I just wanted to, because I thought about it, and I was like, oh, wait, 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 do I get to choose the Pokemon? No. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Scyther, because I can always move energy cards around with Venusaur anyway. And, you know the deal, we get Paralysis this time. <laughs> yeah, so even though it does, only does 20 damage per attack, it's those status conditions that are going to worry you. If you get Poison, you're going to do 30, and at the end of the turn, 40. And then, <laughs> yeah, just, just, and if you don't, you get the paralysis, which compounds into 40, because I'll be able to attack again. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a tricky deal, y'all. Thank you for Tails, because that'll knock out Machop. So yeah, I figured this Machop, I, I figured this Venomoth would be a nice little addition here to show off that power. 
Well, assuming I can power it up with enough energy, which I was able to. So, that's pretty nice. And I guess he was indeed going for the Machoke of Doom. But, will it make a difference? Maybe? <laughs> I mean, I got kind of a... Kind of a big sore here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go Pokemon Power, Energy Trans... Whoop, no, no, yes. Uh huh. What we do is we go bunk, bunk, like so. And you remember the recycle energy is on Venusaur, so yes, <laughs> Solar Beam. I figured I would save the Venomoth for something that is kind of you know that can't get through it basically. But he might just be forced to, to leave out the Machoker. Yeah, he cut ten damage because yeah, the uh, Venusaur here. And, does a lot of damage and everything else. Weak to grass, that'll do 120, that'll do 120. So yeah, I kind of put him in a spot with that. <laughs> Alright, let's just solder beam and finish him off. I gave him two chances. Just not working out for him today. <laughs> Victory for the fireweed deck because our grass Pokemon are on fire! Huh? I failed. Legends Booster Pack, let's see what we get. We know what Booster Packs you're getting, but we just want to see what we get. Magneton, Microwave, I love the name of that. Choose one of your Pokemon. No, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon and do 20 damage to it. And you may possibly discard. Ooh, energy, ooh. So you can continually energy removal anything on the field, unlike Dragonair, which is only for the active Pokemon. So in a way, that could be even more powerful in a way, <laughs> in certain aspects, if you're trying to keep them down, because you can always suck out an energy card then. Um, well, in some aspects, remember you gotta, yeah, it's still only one attack, basically. I mean, it is one less energy, and less uh, HP, I do believe, as well, so it's it's a kind of a trade-off. <laughs> anyway, I should probably not dwell on that too much. That's only for the lightning decks anyway, and we're using the grass right now, so yeah. <laughs> Premier, who gets the Hypnos? Rearrange the top three cards of your deck, choose the Pokémon, and do 10 damage to it on top of the 30. I think I showed that before, yeah, I'm really, really out of it, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, so I should probably end off the part. I've seen the lag, the, the, the same dialogue. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we go ahead and battle the last two members of the fighting club, starting with her.